What's in today's resume? For starters, it's not even on paper. Also, your PowerPoint and Excel skills are no longer relevant in the digital industry. You're better off at being a ways at giving stuff. But even better if you could build your own website or program. In other words, code. Coding is the must-have job skills of the future. That even countries like England and Estonia are including it in their primary schools. A is no longer for Apple, it's for algorithm. The basics of creating computer software, apps and websites are no longer only essential to computer programmers and developers. Coding is so in right now that some companies are only focused on teaching coding to both kids and adults. Such as Treehouse and Code.org, which enables you to pick up coding online in your own time. It's a wonder that there is a shortage of skilled programmers in the workforce given how much they are valued at today, both in money and in skill. How strong is coding as a presence and demand in Malaysia to the general workforce though? Let's see if people are still leaving everything to their IT guys. I do a bit of programming myself, you know, particularly things like Java, j 2 e that's what I usually do. If you talk about the programming skills for doing apps, we are on par because that's the internet. You can learn it. It's what everyone learns. Uh, I'm, I don't know much about coding or programming, but I roughly know it's about uh, developing websites and apps. Uh, yes, I would definitely pick up coding. I think it will be very beneficial in the future. Okay, maybe that didn't go as well as we expected. But not bad, not bad at all. Of course, it's always good to get straight to the players in this digital revolution. We speak to Code Asia on what it's like to be in their head and see the world in a different language. Codeasia started on February 2014. It is a fresh startup business. We start Codeasia because we wanted to educate people on coding and we wanted to tell them that coding is not that difficult and it's not that complicated. It can be learned by everyone. That's why our motto is everyone can code. Coding is a set of instructions given to a computer to actually ask them to do something for you. Coding is not only implemented to computer only, but it's also to smartphones. A simple coding is if, let's say, you give an instruction to a computer or a smartphone to display a name, like, uh, you know, the search button there, you type name and then uh, the computer or the smartphone will, will display the name for you with all the context detail. That is a simple coding. If you move on to a complex coding, it's something like uh, when you go to Facebook, and you have to verify uh, all your details and everything, there is more to complex coding. Skills in coding is very important in this digital era. Nowadays, if you, if you can see, it's not only the creative uh, industry that needs someone with these skills. If you go to the F&B uh, industries as well, they, they need someone with coding skills to, to do their marketing, to I mean, uh, uh, provide a system for them. So companies are looking for graduates with basic knowledge in coding. So for those who have skills in coding, we give them advantage in securing the job. Actually, everyone can code. It's just that the level of complexity of the coding. If let's say for a very uh, for a beginner, they have a tool called App Inventor. Okay, that one uh, is in block code. So what they can do with App Inventor is like creating the first uh, the, the interest of in a process of learning real coding, and then maybe they can move into a complex coding. But the basic knowledge that one should have uh, to learn coding is actually to understand the language first, the language itself, and then the um, framework, and also the structure of the file. Currently, uh, Kudasha is working with MDEC to train uh, the MRSM kids. From the program, I can see that the kids are happy and eager to learn coding. The kids uh, have learned to, to think critically and then to have creative mind, to plan well, to uh, make decisions. All this will benefit them in the future. For those who are interested in uh, learning coding, CodeAsia provides courses and uh, training in uh, programming languages. But if, uh, if you are looking for other options, you can go online and Google, uh, you can see there are thousands of choices for you to learn coding either offline or online. Coding is the future because nowadays we shop online, we listen to the music online, we watch movies online, so everything online is coding. So I can see in future everyone at least have a basic knowledge in coding. Even a preschool kids will start learning coding in their schools. It will take some time before the rest of us adjust to this digital revolution. 
But hey, it was not too long ago when people were freaked out over the use of computers. But imagine a generation of native digital readers who are not just about using its content, but actually creating it. I guess the term booter IT shall not be known as the inability to use technology, but the inability to actually create it. Hi. I didn't know you were going to be here. I thought we were going to do the interview on Skype. Digital snobs. 